any other music now. What even is dubstep? Uh, imagine transformer porn. <laughs> This video um, is kind of talking about uh, Dirt Road Men and like who we are and what it's about. Three sheets to the wind, about me. Trying to get you to say, the way it marks is better than any of our guys. Yeah. Remington Arms, Files, Chapter 11 Bankruptcy. Files, Leap for Video, Nine or Ten for You. Yeah, Nine or Ten. Hey everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jake. We are the Dirt Road Men. I'm not gonna have a drink, I'm still a little sick. I've shot a lot of videos today. You'll be able to pick them all out because I sound way different. I'm sniffling and trying not to cough. All kinds of stuff. And he's dressed the same. Well that helps too, but I wear like the same two or three shirts every time we film. Fair enough. Me too, usually. Yeah, this is kind of new for you, especially the suspenders. I don't think you've had them on camera because you wore your sweatshirt last time. Yeah. Uh, so this is more of a, a Dirt Road Men talk, kind of getting to know us episode. Uh, we wanted to talk about music. Our favorite bands, our three favorite bands. By we, I mean I had this idea and he was like, why would you make me pick my favorite bands? <laughs> There's so many of them, so many genres. And honestly, I rattled mine off, and then he named one, and I was like, oh, I'm jealous. I didn't even think of him. So but you know, not my favorite. I know. I know. And that makes me sad. But but one of the ones I'm going to name is relatively new and might be a phase. So first, I think we should start with one we have in common. That is Pantera. Yeah. These aren't any particular ones. They might all, mine, all three might be five, maybe top one with a couple other ones. Yeah. So, um, Pantera is definitely something we both love. When I think of Pantera, I think of riding around with my dad in the back of his 72 Impala, listening to Pantera a little more loudly than I cared to. Uh, and not quite loud enough that we can get away with anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh... I think, I think my favorite song from them is probably uh, Wow, I drew a blank. Is it Cowboys from Hell? No, it's not, actually. <laughs> you looked a little disappointed in me no, right no. there. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. It's off of... Drag the Waters. Yes, that's it. Drag the Waters. That is an epic. We covered that song. We did. We we were in a band in high school and we covered that song. Although I don't think we I ever got to play Dragon Wars. I wasn't in a band in high school. Uh, you joined before high school was done, I thought. When we... Because I yeah, thought it was over yeah. Christmas time that we switched everything up. Yeah, and then... And then it was the summer after high school that we started practicing, like, hard. Yeah. For, um... Yeah, I was a, a rock band. I think he's wore our shirts once, called Second Threat. Uh, we don't have any good recordings out. Our only recording, we put like a mic in the middle of the room and we all played. So it was a bad idea. It did not sound good. Anyway, uh, do you want to name fun. one of them next? Uh, let's go with Johnny Cash. Yeah, all right. That's the one I was like, man, I wish I was. All right, I know I've got whiskey in front of me, but it my throat a little bit. For what we have out here where we film, that's that's the best I got. There's some mullet light in the fridge. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that mullet light joke has made it onto screen yet. We'll explain it eventually. Yeah. Uh, so I'll keep in theme with you and name my favorite country artist. Which is uh, Chris Stapleton. He's relatively new. I guess it could be a phase, but I don't think I've heard a song from Chris Stapleton I did not like. Neither have I. And that includes his weird duet with Chris Pratt. So, it was glorious. Which one did they do? Uh, I can't remember. It was a, it was an old pop song. But, 
I don't know, you guys can look it up. Yeah. But uh, Chris Stapleton, I think, is a really good example of what country can be. We're, we're both kind of rock and country guys. I prefer rock. I don't know if you prefer rock over country, but... Depends on the day, man. Yeah, yeah. I prefer rock in general, but I've listen, been listening to a lot more country lately, and I do still like some country songs. Uh, I like a lot of country songs, I should say. So we're, we're mostly rock and country guys. There's nothing that's just straight rap that I can think of that I like, but I do like the rock and rap mixture. Uh, I think that can work. What would you call ICP? Oh, let's not bring them up. In this video. <laughs> they had some songs I liked in high school. They have some songs I still kind of don't mind. But I don't like to associate with them or, <laughs> or most of their fan base. Uh, but they did do a song with Slash back in the day. Huh, I didn't know that. Uh, Halls of Illusions. I can't tell you any particular name of any of their songs. Uh, to Catch a Predator comes to mind, and the one me and Woody used to sing to make people angry, which was Boing Boing. Okay. I can't, I can't say the lyrics on here, and we're gonna <laughs> never talk about ICP again on video starting now. Okay. I was gonna say it, but... Don't do it. <laughs> uh, we can talk about Alice in Chains. Yeah, that's that's your third favorite band. Not not necessarily like number three, but the third one he's naming. Lane Staley has an epic voice. Had. Had, okay. Yeah, they've got a lot of good songs. I really like that acoustic CD that I got from you. Though, yeah, the MPP Unplugged. That, yeah. Um, really great. Yeah. Their new singer, newer singer, I guess, has been around for a few years now, uh, William Duvall. I don't know if you've heard any of it. Yes, him. yeah. He's pretty good. Yeah, he is. Um, so my third favorite band is, not necessarily in that order, is uh, Metallica, but pre-Saint Anchor. So, so you say that Metallica, but there are some strings attached. Yes. The master of puppets is pulling the strings. You wonderful bastard. So funny. So, a lot of, I have this problem with a lot of my favorite bands. Korn used to be on that list. But their newer music, post post see you on the other side um i believe that was the name of the cd the coming undone was on and twisted transistor that was the last cd that i genuinely enjoyed all of i hated every bit of it yeah you don't like corn like at all <laughs> but uh and everything they've done since then really is just not only disappointing but they started including some dubstep and i was just like I can't even listen to any other music now. What even is dubstep? Uh, imagine transformer porn. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. That sound. Two beat. Oh. Uh, that's that's the best I can describe that. They started incorporating that in their music, and I was just like, wow, I, I cannot stand this. So they, they like, hard fell from grace in my eyes. I did like uh, their song, All in the Family, with another artist I'm not very fond of, except for, like, two songs. Uh, Fred Durst. Lip Biscuit. Oh! <laughs> All in the Family was funny, because it was kind of them fighting, and then they kind of become friends by the end of the song, and then it gets awkward, and it's like they're basically going to bang. And then all of a sudden, Fred Durst is just like, hey, wait a minute, what? <laughs> How did we end up here? <laughs> Man, that's awkward. See, I can, I can separate the art from the artist, and the lead singer of Korn's kind of a weird dude. But I also can listen to some Marilyn Manson and enjoy it. That live, specifically that 
live CD my father used to have. Because 99% of what I've ever heard from him on the radio, I don't like. Um, yeah, they did, um, Suicide is Painless, the MASH theme song. Manson did it, and I was like, you know who would do this better, in my opinion? Some priest saying that you're Metallica. Metallica. A lot of people say pre-Black Album Metallica. I like the Black Album. I like Load. I like Reload. I don't like s &M. I guess may have come out after San Diego, but I don't think so. I don't know. Because they had No Leaf Clover on it. It's the one where they played with <coughs> an orchestra. Yeah. But, yeah, that's kind of our uh, music taste. We thought that would be a fun uh, kind of get-to-know-us type video. Ooh. What's up? Hag. Haggard? Yeah. Merle Haggard. I'm still not uh, familiar enough with his music to call out the names of any songs, but I know that everything you've played for me by him, I like. So, I suppose we may be limited by our age and exposure. But, uh, yeah. I think that's it. What, what, what do you have? What is this? Ah! I know we read this quote in a much more somber video. I'm gonna read this quote again because it's on the back of my notes. As a, your, as a closing. Your notes are on the back of my book. Shut <laughs> The Constitution shall never be construed to prevent the people of the United States who are peaceable citizens from keeping their own arms. Samuel. So, on that awesome note, I'm Zach. And I'm Jake. Till we see you again, we are the Dirt Road Men. And after we see you again. <laughs>